Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Black Ops 4 has been confirmed, but for the people that have been living under a rock for the past couple of days, let's just do a quick recap. So a couple days ago, we got an update for Black Ops 3, and in that update, we got the snowy version of the multiplayer map Redwood, which is now called Redwood Snow. So immediately everybody was like, okay, this is weird. There could be no other reason for them to do this other than to tease us for their next game, because the game's been out for three years. There could be no other reason for this. And then people started looking for easter eggs in Redwood Snow. And the only thing that they could find was that the license plate number on this car in Redwood Snow is different than the one in Redwood. So that kind of got people excited. But then MJPW Gaming on Twitter confirmed that the license plates were already existent in the pre-patch version of the Black Ops 3 game. Which essentially means that they didn't add these license plates within the update, they were just already there. So it's probably nothing new and they're probably not even easter eggs at all. In addition to that, Treyarch also added infected mode to Black Ops 3 and a new sniper rifle named XPR-50. And on a side note, I want to mention that the reason why everyone was looking for easter eggs in Redwood Snow was that the map is literally a frozen forest. And if you remember in Black Ops 3 campaign, the frozen forest theme played a huge role in the storyline, so there's definitely some sort of connection there. And then yesterday, while some people were looking for clues in Redwood Snow and some other people were enjoying infected mode, something crazy happened. Houston Rockets player James Harden was seen wearing a hat with the Black Ops 4 logo on it. When I saw this, I literally lost my shit. Not because it's Black Ops 4, but because this pretty much means that the viral campaign for the next Treyarch game has begun. Okay, now let's address the elephant in the room. A lot of people were saying that, hey, that's not how you write 4 in Roman numerals. It's supposed to be IV, not 4 eyes. And then some other people were saying it's 4 eyes, not because it's gonna be Black Ops 4, but because it's gonna be the sequel of Black Ops 2. And that makes a lot of sense, because between Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3, there's a huge chunk of time and story just missing. And this could be the perfect way for Treyarch to address that in their campaign mode. And also don't forget that they probably know everyone wants boots on the ground. And this is perfect for Treyarch, because they can have a game set in near future without the jetpacks, since everybody hates those fucking things. So it makes a lot of sense that the logo would be designed like that. And to top it all off, Kotaku confirmed that that indeed is the Black Ops 4 logo. And then the cherry on top was this image that was leaked by a GameStop employee. These are the list of future merchandise coming to GameStop. And what do we see? Black Ops 4 merchandise. But wait, not only do we see Black Ops 4 merchandise, we see a listing for Call of Duty World at War oversized box. Now, does that mean that we're gonna get World at War remastered? I don't know, but I know one thing for sure. I cannot wait until the next Treyarch game. Guys, I wanna thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.